Eva Jin was the first female director to pull in more than a hundred million yuan with her romantic comedy, Sophie's Revenge. 2000, I went to US to study film in FSU, Florida State University. So after I graduate, uh, I went to uh, Los Angeles for a couple years uh, because I had this dream, every filmmaker's dream, want to be a Hollywood director one day. I got some calls from China. There's some Chinese producers asked me to come back to make features, Chinese feature. By then, there's not that many successful romantic comedy because in China, the genre film is still very young. Sometimes they mix up the genre, so you know they don't know how to sell different genres of movies. So I thought, wow, it's a romantic comedy. It's pure commercial. It must be like a good chance to make it. <laughs> Wanna Brother China uh, actually interested to making it. They gave it to uh, Zhang Ziyi, like her read it, and she fell in love with the character and liked the script. So that's how we started. It's very simple. It's just like everyone else told me when I in LA, just say, write a good script. If the movie star like it, they want it in, and you get your movie. So it's just exactly like that. I actually started collecting all of the DVDs because they all look different because there are some parallel DVDs. So sometimes surprise me, I see different covers and different DVDs. It's interesting. I think I compare a lot of countries. China have a lot of female directors. I thought about that and I think part of reason is because in the past years most of the movie we produce or make is our films. I think in the US if you say I want to make an action movie. Uh, even the last movie I made is a comedy. They will say no. They will. They only want to you to make what you already made. But in China now, I think they're the investor and producer more open-minded. They are like, yeah, anything you want to do. So I think that's very, uh, very good for filmmakers now.